Hey, what's up? It's your boy Prism God, and this is Prism God TV. So, I want you guys to think about something. Imagine yourself going to a store, and not only going to a store, but you're going to Walmart, you're going to Target, and you go to the front of the line, and you happen to find a box. A box of sports cards, or in this case, basketball cards. And it's the only box there, and you think to yourself, should I rip it? Or should I stock it? That's a question I think most of us cards guy, card guys kind of made a dilemma as we see sports cards go to a all-time high. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you about a couple of different products that are out there um, that potentially you'd be able to either decide whether you want to stock it or rip it. I'm going to use Prism Basketball as an example. Last year, you were able to walk into Walmart. Well, not even last year. We're literally talking about November, December of uh, last year, well I guess it's technically last year, but a couple months ago, you're able to walk into Walmart or Target and spend $19.99 on a box of Prism Basketball, okay? Now if you guys are familiar with that, I don't have it on me right now, but it's a, a literally a box that says Prism on it, has a picture of Zion Williamson on the front, and it was found at either Walmart or Target. And at that time, again, it was $19.99 for that box. Current market on that, current, on that box is about $250 a box. So if you bought that box for $20, you could have opened it and potentially pulled a Zion rookie card or a base card or even a LeBron James or, or Luka second year. Or you could have put it to the side and said, you know what, maybe I'll sell it later. At current values at $250, you could have bought a case of cards for $500, for $500 and turned that around to, to turn to $5,000 to $6,000 at a later date. So, which, which again, brings us to the point, should you rip it or should you stock it? So today I want to talk about some, di some different products that are out there and then talk about some of the market, you know, that potentially is out there for us. Um, right now I have Chronicles Basketball and right now I think current value on this is around $60 to $80 a box. Retail is about $19.99. You essentially could have bought a case of this stuff for about $500, $400 $500 to $500 a box. And right now, based upon current value, you could have probably doubled your money. Um, and if you continue to hold it, is it worth more? Which leads me to Prism Basketball. Back in 2013, 2014, Prism Basketball um, was not really as popular as it is now. I think the product was new because, well, it's the second year of Prism. The first year was uh, with Kimba Walker, Anthony, I'm sorry, Anthony, I'm sorry, uh, was it Kyrie Irving? and Anthony Davis rookie year. And then Prism Basketball after that, which is the second year, which is what I'm looking at, had Giannis. And that class was not really sought as a really good class with Victor Oladipo, Giannis. I think Vucevic is in this class as well. There are a lot of no-name people, with some people who actually had a lot of upside, and then some people who really, you know, the end that didn't pan out. I think Anthony Bennett was in his class. I think he was the number one pick, if I'm not mistaken. So it was like, this class was really just all over the place. So essentially, when this box first came out, it was roughly around $100, $150, bucks, I think it was what it was when it first came out because, again, Prism was new. Topps Chrome had been the, pro the predecessor of Prism Basketball for a very long time, which I'm not going to dwell into too much because we're going to we're going to talk about Prism as a whole along with Topps Chrome because we're going to do an origin show in a later date. Um, but right now, with 2013, 2014, you could have bought the box about 100 to 150 bucks, maybe around 200. Just depends because that class wasn't essentially that good. Um, the price on that box was really, really stale for a short period of, for for a short period of time. And as time has passed on, Blowout currently sells this box right now for twelve thousand dollars. So you essentially could have bought a hundred dollar to two hundred dollar box. And here we are, talk are talking about seven years later. A uh, $10,000 or more box of basketball, just a regular hobby box. Now, I know it's not retail like we talked about later, but which leads me to my question. Should you open it or should you stock it? I think as a collector, one of, like I said, a lot of us do deal with this a lot of times. And I'm one of the people that I like to buy a lot of product when I go to retail. So when I go to Walmart and Target, I'm one of those guys. I'll buy it all. Sorry in advance, but guess what? I love to rip it and also like to stock it. I'm a little bit of both. So because I believe there is fair value, you know, in holding boxes later on, I literally talked about one other thing that I picked up at a show. 
Um, about six, well, not six months ago at the Houston show, TriStar show, they would have picked up one of these boxes for $60. Current market on it is about $300. So, um, which I think is a good value if you think about it. I mean, I've had it for four or five months, about four months. I think I got it, was it February? So February, I was able to buy this about $60. And now current market is three times. Well, sorry, five times as much as it was then. Now, Cool thing about this is, I believe this is like third year Kobe Bryant. So this is just so cool to have. It's either third or fourth year Kobe Bryant. I think it is. Yeah, it's fourth year Kobe Bryant. Um, it's four, it's uh, fourth year. It was third. I'm sorry. Second or third year Tim Duncan. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Second or third year Tim Duncan. And Allen Iverson's in this. Jordan's in this. So this is a really cool product. So I, at the time, I thought for 60 bucks, I'm like, it's Topps Chrome. I think it's a good investment. So I think that was a really cool thing to pick up, in my opinion. So this is one of the boxes I'm currently stocking um, because I think as we continue, Topps Chrome will be less attainable. Prism will be less attainable. And as those things continue to happen, these boxes are going to continue to go up, especially with uh, items, you know, and especially in the 2013 with uh, Giannis Prism Gold being a, a roughly $100,000 or more card. And there's only been a few that's been pulled. There's, and with inventory dwindling down every day, this stuff becomes more and more sought after. So with that being said, this is another stock for me. I think it's a really cool item, but for me, it's a stock. So again, the question to you guys is, and you can also leave these in my comments below is, are you a stalker or are you a ripper? And if you're both, that's great. For me, I'm both. I'm a combination of both. I like to buy a lot of product and that way I just hold on to it and open up a few, get a feel for it, enjoy it. And the rest of it is like fine wine, in my opinion. Sometimes you might want to open it up six months from now, a year from now. As it continues to appreciate you determine what you want to do. So with that being said, I thank you guys for joining me on Prism God TV. Uh, again, if you have any questions or suggestions for shows that you would like me to talk about, I'm more than open to it. Uh, see, leave me comments below. Make sure you leave a like and hit that bell notification so you get all my exclusive content. Thank you. And also, uh, just so you know, too, you can also add, invite me to your local shows. Send me a PM. Uh, send me some special requests or any comments or whatever you guys have or concerns. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, Prism God, uh, Instagram, Prism God, and, um, and follow me on YouTube. Thank you very, very much, guys. It's been a pleasure. Have a great day.